it's kind of amazing that all it took to balance the budget was remove the mm, chaff, the excess, you could call them parasites, whatever, of a government. And somehow, within technically two months, balance the budget for the first time in 12 years. Javier Millet, president of Argentina, and his crazy hair have done it. Done the unthinkable. Now, is it going to roll over to February and March? Well, we don't know, but you guarantee, I guarantee goddamn T that someone's going to be looking at it, and any, t any misstep, someone's going to be on his uh, fourth point of contact, if you will. So, essentially, um, it saw its first monthly budget surplus in nearly 12 years. January was the first full month in office for Malay, a far-right libertarian. God, I hate these people who took office in December. It ended with a positive balance for public sector finances of $589 million, that's dollars, at the official exchange rate government said late Friday. Now, understand that they're using dollars for this. I don't know what is in Argentine pesos, but it's probably trillions at this point. The figure includes payment of interest on public debt. That's the thing. If you can't pay the interest on your public debt, that's when you fall into problems. Um... Malay has been negotiating with the International Monetary Fund over his $44 billion loan and has vowed to achieve balance in public finances this year. Zero deficit is not negotiable, Economy Minister Luis Caputo said on X, the former Twitter. Malayan economists have advocated sharp cuts in spending and a reduction of public debt on the way to, to a dollarization of the economy, which is, I don't know why you want to <laughs> saddle up to the dollar, but... Uh, I guess it's better than nothing. Following a 50% devaluation of the peso, a lifting of price controls and strong rate increases, Argentina saw inflation rate for January of 20.6% with a 12-month rate of 254.2%. Jesus. He's got a long road to hoe here. The year 2023, the final year of the center-left government of Alberto Fernandez, ended with a 211% inflation rate. With poverty affecting 45% of the population, Malay has predicted an economic rebound within three months. I hope so. But that just goes to show you that just look at our own government in the United States and how much excess there is. There's government agencies upon government agency, agencies upon government agencies, and they all want money. They all want that kitty out there. They all want part of the pie, and they all want to spread their liberal progressive ideology amongst and that, and that's the crazy thing you go into the government and this is this this is this is going to go into politics here but if you go into any government agency liberal progressivism is rife within every single public sector government agency i'd say government agency all the way down to the lowest level local public agency the dmv the Department of Education, you get the point. They're rife with liberal ideology. And of course, they want to put in a <clears throat> resident of the White House that's occupying said, well, he's not even there half the time. But that's what they want them there so they can keep getting pay raises and they got a government cushy job and it's almost impossible to get fired. Actually, it's pretty easy to get fired in some instances, but, you know, we'll move on. And that just goes to show you that it can be done. If someone wants to do it, but even if I, I would even assume that even if President Trump gets back in, I don't necessarily think that he can do what President Javier Malik did. I don't think he has the same, I guess, executive powers, maybe, perhaps. I guess he could do something. But that just goes to show you that if you want to balance the budget, if you want a budget, in our, in our case, in the United States, if you want all these things – to reduce inflation, to reduce public sector debt, to reduce the redundancies of the workforce and the government agencies, you can do it. It's just that a lot of presidents and officials don't necessarily want to do that because if you want to get elected, especially in 2024, during the election season, you just can't Mm, fire public sector employees because it doesn't look good and it doesn't equate to you being reelected.